I was wondering exactly what did the healers do? I mean, um, did they chant or pray or was it just intentionality or, or what exactly did they do to, to perform this treatment? Okay. And the, the second part of that is, was it uh, based on special abilities of these people or is it behaviors that uh, could a, a person could learn and therefore you know, be able to treat others as well? Well, uh, I'll, I'll tell you that uh, I have since over this decade trained myself, so now even I can do it, okay? Uh, I had a number of undergraduate students at University of California, Irvine, that I took a crash course in pranic healing about an hour, and they treated the cells and culture. They did not do as good a job as an experienced healer, but they still had a result. And what they actually did with pranic healing, at least, was that they uh, 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 imagined and pulled through energy from the universe through their bodies and visualized first green light emitting from their hands, clean the cells with green light, uh, whitish green light, then clean the cells with whitish orange light, stimulated the cells with bright white light through their hands, then placed blue light over the cells, and that was it. It's what they visualize. If you look at it clairvoyantly, you see colors. Uh, but uh, what this actually entails is far more, obviously, than electromagnetic or uh, uh, energy because you can do this in an area that's shielded from electromagnetic fields. Okay. And the other healers that we work with, there are many healers that we work with, do not have a clue what they do, but they seem to be able to bring about a healing process. Okay, let's give a big round of applause for um, Dr. Joey Jones. Um.